you guys it's your girl deco k and i'm back with another video as you can see by title here we're going to be doing a review on my cartier 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 i don't really know how to pronounce it but i pronounce it cartier we're going to be doing a review on my cartier bracelet and my cartier ring from the love collection as you can see here i'm going to be giving you guys some pros and cons i don't know i just love watching these videos i've been watching these videos for years i love watching reviews on jewelry purses perfume you name it i love watching reviews so i just thought why not i do a review and give you some input on what i think about the love bracelet and love ring there is some things that people don't mention that i feel like i definitely should say in this video so just stay tuned and don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and let's get this video started. Okay, bracelet. So first off, we're gonna start about start off with the pricing of both the bracelet and the ring. Um, so right now the ring retails for $17.20. It definitely went up because I bought this ring mm, three, four years ago. I had went through a breakup right before Valentine's Day, and I really wanted to get myself something nice for Valentine's Day because I'm like, damn, like I never really had like a good Valentine's Day. Like, you know what? Like, let me just get myself something really nice. So I went to the Cartier store. No, actually, no, I ordered it. I don't know why I ordered it actually. Why did I order it? I don't remember why I ordered it, but I ordered it when there was a Cartier store in Tyson's. That's a good question why I ordered it. Why did I order it? I don't know why I ordered it. But anyway, so I ordered it and I think I got a size. Honestly, I don't even know what size I got because there is a range of sizes for the rings. So I don't know what size I got. I think it's about a 50. Yeah, I'm not even going to guess because I really don't know. It was so long ago. But yes, at the time that I bought it, it was like $1,600. So it went up about $100 and that's a lot, like for sure. I didn't know it goes up every single year until one day I checked it back and the prices went up and I was like, huh? So I did not know that. But anywho, um, same thing for the bracelet. The bracelet was six thousand five hundred and fifty dollars um i did not buy this bracelet i've always wanted this bracelet but i definitely could not put myself to spend that much money on this bracelet so i told myself that once i made it in my own house and just like i don't know i just had a goal for myself that then that, that's when i said i would buy it for myself but i graduated college i got my bachelor's at vcu and i got it as a gift and i was like about to fall out my chair when I got it I was like what huh and I was definitely hesitant about taking it because I'm like do I really want to take this bracelet because it's like so much money even though I really did want it I was like do I really want to accept this gift right now but I did so um the person that I got the gift from it was they got me a size 17 which is like huge so I went to the Cartier store and I got it in a size 15 I think second smallest size I think it starts from 14 all the way up to larger size so the person that got me a 17 but I downsized I went to the store and I downsized to a 15 I actually wanted it to be a little smaller I actually wanted it to be like this like how most people wear I was like snugged right here but the sales rep who was helping me out she was like I'm not gonna sell you a bracelet that's that small because when it gets warmer outside your wrists are gonna be swollen and it's gonna be even tighter she was like i'm not gonna sell it to you and i was like in my head i was like what do you mean you're not gonna sell it to me like if i'm spending not me if somebody spent this much on this bracelet i should be able to stop to decide what size i should get but in the long run she was right but anyways let's go ahead and hop into the pros and the cons about this bracelet and this ring i'm first going to start off with the pros and cons of this bracelet i'm going to start off with the cons first of this bracelet so prior to me getting the bracelet i have never worn something 24 7 no not even earrings not even a necklace not even a ring like nothing i would never wear anything 24 7 it, either i take it off before bed or take it off for a couple days but i've never worn something every single day besides my ring which i do take off at night so when i got this it was very very uncomfortable nobody tells you how heavy it is in the beginning like it was so uncomfortable like i was literally like this close to going back and returning it because i'm like i'm not going to stay here and wear something that's so heavy and this much money and i'm so uncomfortable and when i would sleep i sleep like this and it was so uncomfortable. I would have to go like this and I would have to like put it up and down just for me to be comfortable in bed. So I would definitely say the number one con is in the beginning, it is heavy. Nobody tells you it's heavy. Some people are like, oh, like it is heavy, but it's not uncomfortable. What? Huh? I don't know if it's because my, I have a small wrist and my, I have skinny hands. I don't know. And my, hand, my wrist can't handle it, but it's heavy. It's heavy. So whoever told you that it's not heavy on the wrist 
it's a lie it's a lie but after like a week or so i definitely did get used to it and honestly you forget that it's even there after some time but in the beginning yeah it, mm, i was definitely contemplating taking it on and off every single night um another con is that the screws do get loose okay i've only had this bracelet for six months now not even six months couple months just a couple months and um the screws got loose twice already the first time that i noticed is that you just can hear it like when you close it back and forth you can just hear that it's not all the way closed so i tightened it myself and then the second time which is actually right now it's a little loose and i haven't tightened it yet but um it definitely does get loose and when i used to watch reviews on this bracelet i would hear how like some people's falls all the way off and i'm like what but I guess supposedly we, with the new design, I guess they redesigned it in 2013 or I don't know, whenever they redesigned it, it was designed so the screws wouldn't get loose so quickly. So yes, that is another con about this bracelet. Another con is that of course they say it's gonna scratch very easily, but it scratches so easily. I got my first scratch within an hour of wearing it. I was so like, I was heartbroken. I was like, what the heck? Like, you would think that something so expensive wouldn't scratch so easily, even though I know that it does. But that first scratch, is just, it hurts. Like, it hurts real bad. But you get used to it. And after the first couple scratches, you really don't care how much scratches is on it anymore. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't lose its shine. It still is very shiny. But it definitely scratches a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Another con about this bracelet is the sizing. Like, I'm in between sizes and I really wish they had half sizes because not everybody's wrist can fit like a full 14 or a full 15 or a full 16. So I definitely did wish that it was a little tighter. But then again, if I went down a size, it would have been too tight. Like in the ring, it has a ranges of sizes, but in the bracelet, it does not. So I definitely do wish that it was like an in between because I do wish it was like just like right here. Or like just like right here even if my hands were swollen it would come like right here like you know what I mean like a perfect length but sometimes it goes like all the way down long run I guess going up a size is the smartest thing to do because it will get uncomfortable because of how heavy it is so I guess I definitely would say that sizing up would be better the last two cons is that it's very very pricey um, granted I don't know exactly what the exact price was um because i got a gift receipt for it that's how i was able to go back into the store and exchange it but um it's six thousand five hundred fifty dollars it's a lot of money like a lot of money to spend on a piece of jewelry yeah a lot of money for sure even though i was going to do it myself in the future in the long run but it's a lot of money it's very pricey super super pricey and tech, in, in all reality, you're paying for the brand, like, because a piece of gold does not cost $6,000, it costs $7,000. But, anywho, I think after taxes, it's about $6,800, $6,700 from what I remember that the person said. I think it was that. So, yes, very pricey. And the last thing that I would say about this is that this is a weapon, okay? This right here is a weapon and i say that because it can scratch people like in my car it's like i don't even know how to explain the interior but like it's leather right and one time i scratched my door and like it left like a mark in my door like that's how sharp this thing is okay and then like when somebody's like squeezing my hand or like laying on me or something like that it hurts like i would literally have to scare with the person and like get off me please like you're hurting me because like it hurts so definitely this is a weapon right here. Just whop somebody real quick. Mm. Boom. That's it. Yup. Don't play on me. Whop. Don't play on me. So yeah. <laughs> okay, so on to the pros of this bracelet. I would say the first pro is the meaning of it. Um, so if you guys don't know, or if some of you don't know, so if you don't know, the love collection is basically a symbol of love speaks for itself and basically with the bracelet um somebody else is supposed to put it on you and it's basically supposed to signify them locking in your love so that's basically what the bracelet is supposed to mean so i don't really care about the meaning i just cared about the bracelet so so people are like oh like you know the meaning i really do love the meaning of it it means a lot i don't, I, I don't care it could be called just a regular cartier bracelet i don't care what it's called it can be like, oh, put this on you for good luck. I, I don't care. 
I just I just like what I like. I just like the way it looks. So the meaning of it is not really anything doesn't mean much to me, but I guess you know it does add some more value to the bracelet because of the meaning. You know, you're not just paying just six thousand dollars just for a bracelet, you're also paying for the meaning of it, the value of it, you know what I mean? So yeah. Okay, and then another pro of this bracelet is that it just never comes off. Never ever comes off. Like I don't ever ever since I got it, I have not taken it off like at all. So I sleep with it, I shower with it. I don't work out but if I was to work out I'll work out with it anything that I do it's on I have not been to the airport yet with this on so I really don't know how TSA is with this on some people say that you have to take it off some people say you don't so I guess what I always do I just always keep my screw on me just in case at all times you just never know when you have to take it off so I just always keep it on me it's an emergency you just never know right and then another pro is that how shiny the gold is. This is actually 18 carats, and I just love how shiny it is. It's just a beautiful piece. And then um, another pro of this bracelet is that it's a statement piece. I just think it's just so elegant. It's just so timeless. Like, I just feel like it goes with every single thing that I wear. I have never came to a point where I'm like, okay, I need to take this off because it doesn't look good. Like, no, no, no. This looks good with everything. A chill outfit, a dressy outfit of uh, Aaron's outfit, a wedding outfit, like date night outfit, like every single thing, this goes with it. Like even though it's just so simple, it's still like a statement piece. I don't know why. Actually both with the ring too, it's just chef's kiss, chef's kiss, chef's kiss. And then I guess another thing that I would say about this is that it, yes, it's very expensive, but it's going to last you for forever. Like, I will pass this down to my daughter, and however long it lasts, like, I definitely do plan on passing this down, and I definitely do think that it's just a, a timeless piece. And yes, it is a lot of money, but I am obsessed with this. Don't regret not taking it back. And I just feel like it's just, I just love it so much. Like, I just love everything about it so I definitely would recommend this bracelet for anybody who's thinking about it in the future or anybody who is eyeing it it is definitely worth the price I feel like I was in a stage before where I wanted to, wanted to buy bags and now I'm in a stage of like jewelry like jewelry is something that you keep on you 24 7 so obsessed with this bracelet and I'm so thankful that I did get it as a gift because I could not see myself spending that type of money on this jewelry piece right then and there so I'm definitely really grateful and I will forever be grateful so yes that is it for the bracelet so I'm just gonna um pass through we'll go through the ring very quickly since you know I covered a lot with this bracelet so with the ring like I said I've had it for three four years now I had it for a very long time I paired it up with a diamond um ring here to stack it on top no this is not real this is like i got it from pierce pagoda i don't know if you guys are familiar with that it's like one of those like jewelry stands in the mall i got this for like a hundred dollars but i never take it off i wash well i do take it off i take this off before bed both the rings and stuff i just can't sleep with rings i don't know how people do it i'm sorry i just can't do it but um i take it off every night before bed when i have it on during the day i keep it on during the day like so when i'm washing my hands going to work going out whatever it's always on me let's go to the pros and cons i don't really have that many cons for the ring to be honest except for the only thing that i would say is scratching on it um of course like it's all beat up now the thing doesn't even shine no more i mean you do have the option to go to the cartier store and have them send it out to remove a layer but it will make it thinner and that is not good so honestly i'm rocking it the way it is obviously it's not as shiny as the bracelet is anymore but it is what it is right so yeah i kind of already figured that and then yeah honestly that's the only con for me like before prior to getting this ring i would always wear rings like you know cheap rings and i would always lose every single one of my rings like every single one but this one not even a chance i think because i spent over a thousand dollars on this i was like i'm not losing this and plus i don't take it off when i wash my hands because it is real gold so there's no way for me to lose it unless like i'm like even if i'm shaking my hand i just can't i can't lose it but knock on wood because like please I'm not trying to lose it so i was cry i would cry okay i would literally cry but um so yeah those are that's literally the only cons that i have for this and then the pros is the ranges of sizes you they have every single size that you can think of okay they probably even have a size for my little sister my older brother like sizes for days okay it's like 0.2 inches 0.3 inches i'm probably exaggerating but they have a lot of sizes like a range of sizes so you don't ever have to worry about sizing for a ring so i love that 
And then another thing is a timeless piece, of course, like I said, for the bracelet as well. It's a timeless piece. You just can't go wrong with it. And also, too, this goes with everything. You just can't go with the wrong with the ring. Like, I highly recommend this ring. Yes, I did spend a good amount of money, but that's like a money for a bag. And I'd rather, I'm at the point where I'd rather spend money on jewelry than a bag at this point. It's just me. But, um, yes. Another pro is that you really don't have to do too much with your jewelry when you have this on. Like, I feel like I can just wear this and that's it. Like, I'm already making a statement. Like, it's just very thick. They also actually do have a thin one. This is the thicker version, actually. So, they do have a thinner one. But when I tried the thinner one on, I didn't really like it. Even though I have small fingers, I just feel like it looks better with the thick version. And I'm so glad that I got the thick version. The brace also, too, comes in a thin version. But I just feel like go big, girl home. Like, if you're going to spend a thousand dollars on the thin one you might as well cup up that extra six and just go with the bigger one because you get a bang for your buck same with this one the smaller one's like four thousand dollars you might as well cup up the extra two thousand dollars if you're already spending a f if you're already spending four thousand dollars you might as well cup up the extra two thousand dollars to get a bigger size so i'm trying to tell you for me if i would have been gifted the thinner one i feel like i definitely would have regretted not putting extra money to get the bigger one so i'm so glad the person already knew me they know i have my eye on this one for a long time but anyways to the ring yes thicker one they have a thinner one and they also have one with diamonds they have one that's like all diamond out and they have one that's just like a diamond here and there so yes um i just got the plain version and i'm so happy with it yeah but overall that is all I have to say about these pieces here. I really do love these pieces. And like I said, I really do think it's worth it. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're thinking about getting this bracelet, I mean, obviously I don't have to sell it to you guys because, you know, if you want it, you're going to get it. And I feel like it speaks for itself. But it is definitely, definitely, definitely worth its price. And I definitely see myself wearing this for forever and ever and ever and ever and ever till I can't no more. And I definitely do plan on getting the Juice Stone Cloud um, collection. I definitely do want the ring so I can like stack it. And I definitely do want the bracelet as well just so I can give myself a more um to it. But that is my review. If you guys have any questions, just comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And if you guys can relate to some of my cons, please let me know and comment down below. But if you are thinking about this bracelet and have any more questions for me, feel free to DM me on Instagram at that Katie or feel free to comment down below because I will be responding. Guys, if you guys want a full jewelry review, like a full everyday jewelry, because this everything that I'm wearing is actually what I wear every single day. So my rings, my necklace, and my earrings is literally what I wear every single day for sure. I actually just got these like two weeks ago and I don't take them off. I sleep with it and I bathe with it. I do everything with it. So yes, if you guys have any questions about my everyday jewelry or want me to do a everyday jewelry video, please let me down. Let me know down below. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and stay tuned for my next upcoming videos. See you guys.